In this video, we will see how workload backup works in a stash. So what is workload? In Kubernetes, pod or pod controller, for example, deployment stateful set are called workloads. Stash can take backup of this deployment stateful set, daemon set, replica set, etc. So what can you take backup with this workload backup model? You can take backup of directories and individual files. Now let's see how workload backup works in a stash. Here you can see a backend. It can be a cloud bucket, for example, S3 bucket or Azure container. It can also be a Kubernetes volume or NFS server. In this backend, we will store the backup data. User creates a storage secret. This storage secret contains the access credentials for the backend. Then user creates a repository here. This repository here contains the information about the backend. After that, user creates a backup configuration. Backup configuration tells the stash what to backup and how often the backup will be performed. Stash controller watches for backup configuration resource. When it sees a backup configuration, it immediately injects a stash sidecar in the target workload. Stash controller also creates a cron job that periodically triggers a backup. So when a backup schedule appears, it creates a backup session. The stash sidecar watches for backup session resource. When it sees a backup session, it immediately takes backup of the workload in the backend. Now let's see how restore works. To restore data, user have to create a restore session. Restore session contains the information about where user wants to restore and what is the source of the backup data. Stash operator watches for restore session. When it sees a restore session, it immediately injects a stash init container in the target workload. The target workload gets restarted with the init container and the init container restored the data from the backend. In the next video, we will see a demo for the stash workload backup.